Hi everybody, this is Joel from InsuranceAdjusterTraining.net again. I'm doing a revised square break tool video and here it is. First thing we're going to do is go get a room and drop it out on our sketch pad. Drop it and resize it. Then I'm going to go get my square break tool off of the toolbar. And I'm going to come to the right wall and break this wall in two pieces. I'm going to place my cursor and left click one time. To create an alcove, I'm then going to put my cursor over the upper handle and just left click and drag. The next step would be if I wanted to create a room instead of an alcove. So I'm going to do this in the lower left corner. I'm going to come out, place my cursor, left click, put my cursor over the handle. I'm going to hold the control key down at the same time while I left click and drag, which creates a new room. The next step would be to put a room inside of a room. So I'm going to bring my cursor down across my bottom wall and break the bottom wall. I'm then going to place my cursor over the right handle, control key, left click and drag, and instant room inside of a room. The next step after that would be to go and place a room on the outside of a room, some place on the center of a wall. Once I find my starting place, I'm going to left click and drag the teal blue line down the wall, and then I'm going to release my left click, creating three handles. At that point, I'm going to control key, left click, and drag, which will create a new room on the exterior of the structure. Along that same line, I can place one in this lower left corner, but first I'm going to resize this room. Once I've resized my room, I'm going to go up and get my square break tool and bring it back down over this left wall. I'm going to draw my teal blue line down the wall by left clicking and dragging. Once I let go of my left click, I will have three handles. Without holding the control key down this time, I pull out that handle and it creates an offset. I'm now going to show you guys how to use the square break tool on a roof. First thing we do is go out and create a new level. Once we have the new level created, the next step would be to go up to the toolbar and select the gable roof. Place a simple gable roof out over this drawing. Resize it. Once I've resized it, I'm going to use the square break tool to pull an extension off of the upper right corner. I'm going to place my square break tool along the roof edge, left click one time to activate. Then I'm going to left click and drag while I hold the control key down. This tells the software that I want another roof. Notice that the valleys on this roof are at 45 degree angles. By using the square break tool, you're not only telling the software you want another roof, but you're also telling the software that you want that roof to come out as the same pitch as the main roof you pulled it out of. That way the valleys tie in and so do the ridge. I'm now going to pull one off of the left hand side. I bring my cursor out over the left wall, left click, and if you'll notice, I failed to hold the control key down. What I just created was an offset shed roof. I don't want this, I'm just going to click undo, so I'm going to go back, I'm going to left click on the wall again, control key, left click and drag, and I create another extension. I can now resize this extension to whatever size I want it to by grabbing the handles and resizing it. Now just like the room, we do have the ability to put an extension in the middle of a roof, offset in any portion of it. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go up and get the square break tool. And I'm going to place an extension off of this rear slope. By drawing my teal blue line in place, by left clicking and dragging down the roof line, I create the teal blue line. At that point, I can left click and drag while holding the control key down, which will pull out a new extension. I'm going to do that again on the bottom by left clicking and dragging down the roof. Then I'm going to place my cursor over the center handle, control, left click and drag. This is the quickest and easiest way to pull extensions off of a roof. That's it for this video. I'll be posting other videos soon, but in the meantime, come check us out at insuranceadjustertraining.net.